everyone. Today I'm going to talk about small mammals. Welcome to Ladder Cat Productions, the place for health, science, and fun. I found a few of these small mammals very interesting and I wanted to share them with you. The first mammal to share is the star-nosed mole. The star-nosed mole is equipped with a super sensitive snout. This species is a true record breaker. Its 22 fingered nose can detect electrical impulses from prey as well as their smell. And it only takes 120 milliseconds for the mole to identify whether an animal is worth eating quicker than any other animal on earth. Its length is 20 centimeters. Its weight is 70 grams. It's from Eastern North America. Its habitat is damp soil and riverbanks, and it likes to eat worms and insects. The next mammal I'm going to discuss is the Southern marsupial mole. It looks like a mole and it lives like one, but this species is more closely related to kangaroos and wombats. Like nearly all marsupials, this species rears young in a pouch. Although in this case, the pouch opens to the rear. So it does not fill with soil as the mole drags itself down tunnels. Its length is 18 centimeters. It weighs 55 grams. It's from Southern Australia. Its habitat is sandy soil and it likes to eat worms, grubs, and lizards. The next mammal we're going to discuss is called the ground pangolin. The ground pangolin looks more like a reptile than a mammal. The only hairs it has are its eyelashes. The rest of the body is tiled in thick, horny scales. Giant pangolins are one of four pangolin species. The other three live in Southern and Eastern Asia. Pangolins are also known as scaly anteaters and for obvious reason. The sticky tongue laps up ants and termites, which are swallowed whole through the small and toothless mouth. The food is then ground into a pulp by a horny stomach lining. The tail makes up half of the body length. When threatened, the pangolin wraps its long tail around the body and rolls into a protective ball. The scales are made from keratin. That's the same material that's found in hair, horns, and fingernails. The pangolin sticky tongue is about 25 centimeters long and is retracted into a deep sheath in the body cavity. The claws, as well as ripping apart termite mounds, the claws are used for digging the pangolin's burrow, which can be several meters long. A pangolin has a length of 1.4 meters. It weighs about 18 kilograms. It's found in South Africa. Its habitat is forest and grassland. And as I said, it eats ants and termites. The next animal I'm going to talk about is the long-tailed chinchilla. Their popularity as a pet has been bad news for wild chinchilla populations. The animals were collected from the wild for sale and now there are just a few dozen colonies left in their rocky mountain habitat. Chinchillas have incredibly thick fur with up to 60 hair shafts growing from every single follicle. Its length is 23 centimeters, and excluding the tail, it weighs 500 grams. It is in northern Chile. Its habitat is barren mountain slopes and its diet is seeds. And its status is critically endangered. The next animal I'm going to discuss is the common beaver. 
but it's a very fascinating animal. It's the largest rodent in North America. The beaver is the engineer of the animal world. Beaver dam rivers with a lattice of logs and mud to create a large, calm pond where they store their food. The residents also build a domed den known as a lodge on the dam or bank. Most lodges have a hidden underwater entrance. A beaver eats the lush plants that grow around the pond as well as the wood pulp harvested from the forest. Using its large upper incisors, the chunky water rodent fells small trees and cuts the trunks into smaller logs. These are then floated into a beaver's pond and left to soften in the water before being eaten. The eyelid of a beaver is interesting. It has a third eyelid. The transparent nictitating membrane sweeps sideways over the eye when the beaver dives. The coat, the thick hairs of the outer coat are heavily oiled by secretions from glands under the tail, which keep them water resistant. An under fur of fine hair stays largely dry and keeps the animal warm. The beaver tail is flat and hairless, forming a broad paddle for powering swimming. The beaver also slaps its tail on the water as a warning to others. Its hind foot, while the forefeet are built for grasping food, the hind feet are fully webbed to aid swimming. Two of the claws are split and used to comb oils over the thick fur. Now the final mammal we're going to talk about is the ring-tailed lemur. One of the most common lemurs, the ring-tailed lemur lives in forests but spends much of its time foraging on the ground for fallen fruits and nuts. During drought periods, the lemurs turn to insects and supplement their diet with the seed pods of the Kylie tree. Ring Tailed lemurs live in bands of about 20 individuals. The bands have a complex social hierarchy dominated by the females. Fights are very common. Females fight over feeding space, often while their infants are clinging to their backs, while the males jostle with each other for access to mates. The lemur tail is used in fights so-called stink battles in which the combatants do not touch but waft pongs toward each other with their bushy tails. The eyelid has a capetum lucidum behind the retina. This mirror layer helps the lemur see in the dark and creates eye shine like that of a cat's eye. Like all lemurs, an this species has a damp cleft that connects the nose to the lips. This wet nose enhances the sense of smell. The lemur's fleshy palms are tough enough to withstand walking on rough ground, but also dexterous enough to handle food. The lemur has scent glands on its wrist and near its genitals. They are used to mark tree trunks and other landmarks in the territory. Ring-tailed lemurs are about 46 centimeters long. They weigh 3.5 kilograms. They're found in Madagascar. Their habitat is forest and bushland. And their diet is fruits, leaves, sap, and flowers. Hope you've enjoyed this video presentation. Please feel free to comment. Please like, subscribe, and watch this video. See you next time.